Welcome to another architectural presentation drawing in Revit tutorial. In this video, I will show you an easy way to create a room number legend similar to the one you see on your screen. Now, before we dive in, if you are interested in learning advanced 3D modeling techniques in Revit, be sure to check out my website learnrevitonline.com. And if you find this video helpful, please consider supporting my work on Patreon. Your support helps me create new videos every week. Now, let's get started. In this tutorial, I will be using the floor plan project we created in one of my videos on creating 3D floor plan renderings in Revit. Anyway, let's add the rooms. But before that, I think we should uh, separate these areas here. So first, I'm going to create sep uh, room separation lines. One here. Another one here on this side, around 7 feet. to separate the kitchen and then I'm going to create another one here to separate this dining area perfect now I will quickly hide these lines because we don't want to see them just right click on this one hide in view category perfect now let's add the rooms I will be using this default uh, Revit room tag family Let's start adding the rooms here. Now I will quickly uh, edit the names here. Perfect. So I have added the rooms now. I'm just going to select this one, this room tag family, and then click on edit family. Now here first I'm going to select this room name and create a visibility parameter. So we need to click here, then create new parameter. Let's call it room name. The group parameter should be graphics. And it should be a type parameter. Click OK. OK again and now if I go back to this project you see we have this rectangle around this uh, number but if you if we go back to family editor you see we don't have that showing up here that's because uh, it is hidden by default so to see that rectangle we need to open up the visibility settings then annotation categories here just check this box show annotation categories in this view then click apply okay there you go now this reference planes and this rectangle also showing up here now if you want to remove this rectangle or create a circle or any other shape around this number you can do that here now first let's tap select this rectangle and then delete now as i said we can create a circle or any other shape so i'm going to create a vertical hexagon here like so Let's save this family. Go to file, save as family. I'm going to name it room number. Click save. Now let's load this into our project. As you can see, we have this new tag showing up here. I'll just hit escape, then select this one. Just right click on this tag, select all instances then visible in view and now we can just change the type from here you can see we have this room number which we have just created let's select room tag there we go we now have these numbers showing up here okay to hide this text we can simply select this tag edit type and here you can see we have this room name parameter which we have created in the family editor let's untick it click apply okay there we go now we have only these numbers uh, showing up here so you'll just quickly adjust the placement of these tags perfect now as you can see we have this background or this floor pattern also showing up here let's say 
you want to use a different background color here you can do that in the family editor let's go to create select field region and we will use pick lines and just pick these lines here and then edit type here we will select solid fill and let's try this color click ok and click finish there we go let's load this into the project override the existing version there we go we now have this uh, background color for these tags i want to use white color so i will just select this one again and i will choose a white color here click ok load this into the project there we go it's looking pretty good so the first section of this video is finished which was about adding the room numbers now moving on to the next section which is uh, about creating the legend here we are going to use schedules to create the list uh, of these rooms so let's right click here and select new schedule select room from this list just press r on the keyboard and select rooms click ok and here we just want to load number and name click ok there we go we have this list uh, created uh, we will edit this schedule after placing the floor plan on the sheet so let's create a new sheet i'm going to select this one and we will just drag and drop our floor plan on the sheet and i'm just going to hide this title let's go to edit type and we'll just select no click apply okay perfect we'll just move this floor plan a little bit to the left now let's drag and drop schedule on this sheet let's expand this so we can see the whole text now first i am going to remove this room schedule and this name so for that we need to select this schedule okay i think we should just uh, close these views i will just save it Click yes uh, i will close this uh, floor plan as well then i will open up schedule just double click on it and let's go back to this view and press wt on the keyboard to split this screen now to remove this title and the headings we can edit the appearance here we first want to remove the grid lines we don't want to see this uh, grid lines here so we'll just uncheck this and then we don't want to see the title and headers click ok there we go now it's looking much better let's drag it here now let's see how we can change the size of this text as well as the font so to do this we need to go back to room schedule and i'm going to select both of these columns and click here font and here i'm going to select this font and we want to change the size as well and i am going to make it bold and let's change the color of the font as well let's use this one click ok there we go it's looking much better expand this so we can see the whole text now i am going to close this schedule window and i think we can just place it here i will quickly change the wall graphics as well just right click on this one override graphics in view by category i'm going to select the cut pattern let's select solid fill and the color should be this one maybe let's try this click apply okay there we go it's looking much better so that's how to create this kind of cool looking presentation drawings with room number legend 
in Revit. So that's it for this video. I hope you have learned something new. So please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you find this video helpful, please consider supporting my work on Patreon. Your support helps me create new videos every week. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.